What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Mentory Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And this time I'm reviewing Sonic the Hedgehog and the Emerald Stones that was released on the Sega Game Gear by Sega and Aspect. They were later ported to the Sega Master System. And pretty much the plot of the game is that Dr. Robotnik, who is known as Dr. Eggman, stole the um, Chaos Emeralds. And it's up to Sonic to, um, and, and Tails to give it back. Now, in this particular game, you could play as either Sonic or Tails. Pretty, well, pretty much the main difference is that Sonic can run fast and Tails can fly. Plus, when we look at, in the Sonic version of the game, he, he only, he has three lives. But, um, no continues while Tail has five lives and three continues. I think the main difference in that part of the game is to have people who are, um, not as good in the game to start off as, um, to, as to pick, uh, Tails to make things easier, you know. Now, the... But there's six songs that's separated into um, three acts, regardless if you pick Tails or Sonic. And it pretty much has the um, the usual items, you know what I'm saying? It has one-ups, continues, power sneakers, invisibility, rocket shoes, but it's, it's that one is specifically used by Sonic and stuff, and the clock, you know. You can also get rings, you can go past the, um, get the signs, the only time you won't see it is the, is in the third act of each zone, and, in the Chaos Emeralds, and now, as far as the Chaos Emeralds is concerned, you can only get them in the, um, uh, special stages. Now, the enemies, which are called, um, Bad Nicks, You'll face in the game like the Froggers, um, mini, uh, and, and boom bots and stuff like that. Now there are five uh, special stages in in the game, but you only can access them by um, getting a hundred rings, which also gives you one and one up and everything. And the emeralds, emeralds that you get are the yellow. Blue, green, silver, and pink chaos emeralds, and you can find each of them in a particular area of a, of a special stage. And once you get them out, I didn't, I forgot what you do with them. But once you collect them, you do what you do with them. You know, my far as the um, graphics and design of the game, it's a it's, they're okay, you know what I'm saying, with decent color palette, but it seems like um, it, they haven't aged well, you know what I'm saying. And as far as the gameplay is concerned, it plays practically no different than the uh, Sonic games that's, that's on the um, Genesis, you know what I'm saying. But the one thing I did notice that Sonic don't, run as fast as he does in the first three Sonic the Hedgehog games on the Genesis, you know. And the soundtrack, while it's okay, it's just not as good as the Sonic the Hedgehog games on the Genesis, the first three that I think, you know what I'm saying. And it seemed like there was something lost in the translation when they were making Chaos Emeralds on the, in, oh, for the, Sega Game Gear and such, so it seems like a lot of the flaws are like more most noticeable in this game, and and the difficulty is not for some reason is not as big of an issue in here as it is in um the, the first the Sonic game on the Genesis. Now Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog and the Chaos Emerald. Is pretty much flawed, but it, but it is like pretty much playable, and I it's pretty much 
Uh, I would recommend it to anyone who is a retro gamer, anyone who, who owns a Sega Master System and a, a, a Sega Game Gear, anybody who's a Sonic fan, and YouTubers who do Let's Plays on their channel. As far as the score, I would definitely give it a 7 out of 10 because the flaws are, are pretty noticeable, but it's not like enough to call it a turd fest. The thing is, it's just that everybody is, uh, are not going to like it, per se, you know. With that being said, if you look, play Sonic the Hedgehog and you, and you like it, you can mention it in the comment section. If you like my review of Sonic the Hedgehog and the Chaos Emerald, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up uh, button. And don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, signing off.